Since we opened the store in September 2007 till now, we've, we've given to the community $200,000. Ben Lataki here with Production Realty. I'm here with Ed Fuller. We're in the uh, second floor of the Copper Nail, um, and it's uh, recently been uh, demoed. They tore all the plaster walls out, uh, and we're going to uh, discuss with uh, Ed here a little bit about what the plan is for this upstairs. Uh, the plan for upstairs is to have more retail space. Uh, right now on the first floor, we don't have room for any big furniture items. Uh, and uh, the plan for upstairs is retail, some uh, meeting room space for the, for the board and the management team, an elevator. Well, I'm, I'm Laurie Parks, and I live here right in the village. I'm Cindy Van Teen. I also live in the village right on the lake. Can you tell us a little bit about what you guys do here? Well. People bring stuff in, the back door back there, and we sort it and go through it. And uh, if it's something we need or we could use, then we mark it and we put it out on the floor. If it's something that is kind of questionable, uh, we can't use it or something, we have several different things we do with it. We can send it to Goodwill, we have a poundage. We have a garbage can. <laughs> and we also send a lot of stuff to Harmony, um, which uh, Harmony Baptist Church has a little uh, closet, clothes closet. And then once you're done processing it, it goes out on the floor. And yeah, we try to make nice displays out there and uh, try to keep things organized as much as possible, but it does get disorganized pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. And we have a little bit of everything. You never know what's going to come in that door. How long have you been volunteering here? About three years. How about you? Four or five. Maybe tell me a little bit about what what, what do you feel the Copper Nail means to, to you and what do you think it means to the community? Well, to the community, it is a, a good source of, of help for different organizations. For example, the Co House Museum or maybe the Whistle Stop Park or this uh, tomorrow, the Boy Scouts will be getting some money from us. And what, is it, what does it mean to you? Yeah, I really enjoy working here because of the, the people are so great and um, it's even fun to go out there and talk with the um, customers and um, yeah, I, I like the fact that it does do uh, help to the community and you know financially and stuff because uh, that's a good motivator to, to get, get in here and volunteer mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. so that you're helping people. Yeah. So this is kind of a job for anybody. It's something Absolutely. To do. Um, we're always looking for people that are uh, interested in uh, helping us out, like with little repairs and things like that. Uh, sometimes we get in uh, um, small pieces of furniture that maybe need just a little tweaking uh, so that we can sell it. And so we're always looking for someone who might be interested in doing that as well. Hmm. Um, there's also people that uh, like to spend their time uh, doing some research on some of our, our uh, donated items. Okay. So that's and they're researching item. them for what? Um, just for value more, because sometimes we get collectibles that we're not sure how to price them, and we want to make sure that we accurately price things. We don't want to overprice it, but we don't want to underprice it. So that's why we do research mm -hmm. on some of the things as well. Okay. And then the, the the social aspect of the, the not actual work, but just the We social. have a lot of fun. Um, a lot of times in the work area, you can hear some laughter coming from back there. Yeah. Uh, it kind of ruminates through the whole store sometimes yeah. because we are enjoying what we're doing uh, while you're busy working. You're sitting there, you're chatting, you're getting to know other people. We have had some people that have uh, come in to volunteer here that came to us because they were new to the area and it was a way to get to know people. Okay. okay. So that was a it, that was a good thing. We've had more than one person say that's why I I okay. came here okay. because it's a good way and you do get to know people. Yeah. You know, yeah, just about you get everybody. to socialize and, and and now it's to the point where every almost everyone knows the copper now. Yeah. You know, it's not like trying to explain to them 
who we are and what we are and what we do, uh, most of the people really do know. Yeah, what's going on and what, what the end result is. Absolutely. And the end result is to... And, and I have to say that people, uh, customers that come in here are quite amazed at how much we actually have given back to the community in the seven, I think it's seven and a half years that we've been in business. Uh, to be almost at $200,000 is, to me, is phenomenal. Yeah. Because it's more than just a place mm -hmm. to even come volunteer. It's, 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 it's a... It, it's a, it almost, I hate to use this word, ministry-like. Yeah. Because so much of what we do in the community is it is helpful. I mean, like the Ministerial Association gets mm -hmm. a big chunk of money, but they help an awful lot of people yeah. in our community. Yeah, yeah. And, and people need help. Yeah. So that's yeah. good. But then, you know, not just, just what it does for the community, but for the for the volunteers here. I keep, everybody I talk to just said so they, don't, they don't know what they do without the Copper Mail. It's I, a social it's, event. It is. Yeah. I mean, I retired a number of years ago. I was a teacher. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, my kids grew up here, and you know, I knew a lot of people here. Yeah. But I reconnected with so many people since I've been working here, yeah. and it's that's been good. Yeah.